Welcome back, Johnny here, and I got another exciting video for you today. I had a YouTube subscriber ask me if I could do a video on XL stock. Like literally, this was 27 minutes ago, and I said, you know what? Yes, I can. I was in the middle of another video, and I said, you know what? Let's do XL for this guy. So Tony Tran, thanks for calling this stock out. And I want to get into it. This company is up 94% in three months. It is called XL Fleet or ticker symbol XL. I'm going to go over some of the research and fundamentals and news articles that I found. And I'm literally going to break it down for you. Um, I like finding evidence um, and research on companies. So... Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. And you're gonna watch into the. You're gonna want to watch it to the end because you're not gonna believe what I found out. So let's go. XL Fleet. It's up 94% in three months. Share price right now is twenty dollars and twenty six cents. But what's interesting is it's initial public offering or IPO, its release to the public for me and you was actually September 3rd, 2019. As you can see, it's up 105%, which is not bad. In the last year, it's up 102%. And a lot of that is from the last three months. What has happened in the last three months? Well, let me tell you. In one month alone, it's gone up $5.91. You could have got this for $14.96. Now, for all of you who don't know what XL Fleet Corp is, it's basically a uh, vehicle electrification solution for commercial and municipal fleets. Now, I did some research on this company. It's actually pretty cool. So, like, Tesla is making their own electric cars. Uh, Neo is also making their own electric cars and batteries that are supposed to last longer. XL Fleet has a interesting plug and play solution to where it allows you to uh, pretty much plug in devices and it electrifies it, which is pretty cool. Now, some interesting articles real quick before we get into some more stuff, right? Because there's not much here on Robinhood. It talks about the market cap, 2.66 billion. It was founded in 2009 and there's an average volume of 955. That's pretty much all it shows. It literally shows nothing else on Robinhood. So Robinhood is pretty much useless to us other than this cool little chart that looks black to you green to me but hey got the green screen behind me so let's go ahead and get into it uh, if you like this video guys go ahead and smash the like button it really helps get my video found on YouTube I've gained a lot of traction in the last couple of weeks and I love doing videos like this for you so uh, it makes me happy when you hit the like button okay so on Webull XL Fleet Corporation is delisted what what do you mean it's delisted? That's insane. Showing a PE ratio of negative 32 and a P-B of 1.5. That's it. Delisted. There's nothing here. Guys, what's going on? I want to provide you good content. I want to provide you good uh, research. And there is nothing. So, let's keep going. We will literally can do nothing for me. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and close Weeple out. Now, let's go to Yahoo Finance. Again, if you guys like this, subscribe to my channel because 82% of you watching are not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel. So, this is saying it's up $20.13. There is a negative 2 earnings per share, so a lot better than negative 32. But I would not set your money quite into this position yet because, one, I don't know what it, you know its P-E ratio is. It's probably really bad. Uh, it's EPS is negative. I never invest in a company that has negative earnings per share. That's just me. I like to wait till I see some positivity, growth, and profit. I love profit. Cannot invest in a company if there's no profit. But this might be the exception. Okay, let's take a look. Now, I've done some research on this. There's not still, there's still not that much to look at. It looks like it's 2019 revenues and earnings. Uh, revenues were, of course, 8 million and their earnings were negative 14 million. That's pretty much all that Yahoo shows too. It doesn't really show a heck of a whole lot. They're showing a hold rating, which is okay. Uh, I don't think Robinhood even has a rating. So let's move on. Now, 
XL is the leading provider of vehicle electrification solutions, not only commercially for North America, but more than 180, 140 million miles driven by customers like Coca-Cola Company, Verizon, Yale University, and City of Boston. XL fleet hybrid and plug-in hybrid electric drive systems can increase fuel economy up to 25 to 50% and reduce the carbon dioxide emissions up to 20 to 33%, which is pretty amazing. Decreasing operating costs and meeting sustainability goals while enhancing fleet operations. Now, that's interesting, right? But why such a huge increase over the last three months? Well, let's get into it. They're saying that because this company just recently went through a reverse mortgage or merger, I'm sorry, reverse merger, which means they actually were with the shell company Pivotal Investments and now they're no longer with that company anymore. They said, you know what, let's not be together. Let's reverse merge. And they got away from each other being partners, which is interesting because they used to use the ticker symbol PIC. Now that XL Fleet is trading on the New York Stock, Ex Stock Exchange, it's a great time to take a closer look at this company. Now, businessinsider.com basically is saying that if you're new to this company, then uh, you might think that it does sell electric cars, but it doesn't. It has this plug-and-play feature, and it doesn't disrupt any of their performance. Now, it does it with most popular Class 2 uh, through 6 vehicles into hybrids and plug-and-play hybrid electric vehicles. Now, XL at a glance. Um, it looked like it was hovering around $10 for quite some time, right? Well, when the merger deals are announced, and that the electric vehicle connection, often you'll see a share price spike. In this case, uh, the bullish push a share up to $14 in November of 2019. Uh, yet it was just the beginning because it had a huge run. Now in the last three months, it's been continuously going up to where at one point it got to $35 in late December. Now this was incredible because there was so much profit I mean, people were going crazy and they were starting to trade it like a mother. Now, it doesn't say the uh, oh, average volume was 9.55 million on Friday. So there's a lot of people, a lot of liquidity right now in this company, a lot of room for profit. And on January 8th, XL stock closed at $21. Now, this represents a nice discount compared to December peak price. But it's a pullback, which could mean it has a possible favor of reaching back to the original price point of $35, which is pretty amazing. Now, when it comes to providing vehicle electrification services and solutions for North America, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better company than this one right here, XL Fleet. Why? Because it is a company in a highly specific niche that's tradable on the New York Stock Exchange. It's like NEO. It's like Tesla. It's like Airbnb if it was a thing. It might even be a thing right now. I don't know. But this is definitely a hot stock. People are watching it and they're investing in it because it's not just something you have to create. There's a low overhead which is really low because they don't have to make an entire vehicle. They can literally just plug it in to other manufacturers' vehicles. And so that's why I give this company right now a interesting, interesting close look. I'm not going to say it's a strong buy because it's not, but I'm definitely going to put it on my watch list, give it a little bit of time to adjust to the new price and market, and then I will continue to see what happens later on. If you liked this video, smash the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have it, and please share uh, another stock for me to do research on. I love it. I want some more of these stocks to research so that I can inform people just like you who may not even know this company existed. I appreciate you, subscriber. I believe it was Tony Tran for calling this stock out today. And this video is just for you. Hope you guys have a great day and a good night.